My check. Um, I mean, when you start getting into um, regional title level. Can you see me? All right, guys. Good fucking morning. Guys, I gotta be honest, it's not morning anymore. It is, is the microphone working? Yeah, it is. 11.48, so about 10 minutes to noon. Because, as you saw yesterday, I was beat up tired. Training is getting harder, heavier, more intense by the day. The eating is taking a toll on me and I can feel it. So sometimes in, in a case like that, in an occasion like that, when I feel beat up I have to be flexible with my schedule and I only train once a day and oh, I gotta crack my neck that is today so I slept in and I don't skip a session I don't skip a training session I just postpone the the event so to speak so instead of training once I skip the first training slot train later in the day where normally my second training session would happen and then that second training session happens the day after, meaning tomorrow, where the normal, the next day's first training session would happen. So, <laughs> it is a little, it, it sounds complicated, but it isn't. So, normally today, first training session would be back, and then later, you know the accessory workout that I always how I always call it the biceps rear delts traps and stuff so today I'll be only training back and then tomorrow morning I'm doing and uh, the accessory workout biceps and all that and then everything just jumped half a day Everything is just postponed half a day until next time when I again feel fatigued and then everything is in place again, you know? So my schedule, the training session, the sequence stays the same. I'm just more, fle I'm just flexible with the schedule. So if I have to skip half a day because I want to get extra sleep, then so be it and the meals also stay the same you know I have two shakes and four whole food meals today it's only, only gonna be one shake and two whole food meals because the day has been cut short by half right so that's it simple morning weight you know yesterday 
I was 122.3. Today, I'm back down to 121.6. I have to push more food on ram has to ramp his drugs up as well I think at some point you know this year I think my metabolism is so fast and I have so much muscle mass accumulated that the eating part is fucking the hardest part there is now please don't comment what I should do I don't give a shit I don't give a shit about what you think I should do please I don't want advice from any one of you I appreciate support I appreciate even bad criticism but I don't give a fuck what you think just do your own training do your own nutrition do your own drugs take care of your own recovery but but don't give me any fucking advice don't give me any don't you think that you should do and I think you should blah 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 or I think you should consider I don't give a fuck what, what you think okay just fuck off thank you now I'm gonna do my thing you do your thing if you wanna watch that's cool if you're not if you don't wanna watch that's cool for, cool with me also I'm just having fun enjoying my training enjoying the journey and enjoying experimenting with my own body that's basically what I'm what I've been doing for the past 20 years and this year is just a different scenario again like all the other years I can tell you this fucking microphone is annoying let me change the setup a little real quick all right that's much better so oh I'm on the fucking cross trainer so I've been on the cross trainer yesterday already that was the first time and today I'm on the cross trainer again and I have not been able because of my hip I have not been able to use the cross trainer for over two years now I've always had one I bought this thing in 2009 this exact thing before that I had a cheaper one but I've been basically been using the cross trainer since I think 2000 hmm, 2008 at least might have been earlier no no it was earlier I've had a cross trainer I think I've, since like 2004 yeah almost 20 years I've been using a cross trainer for cardio and the past two years or two and a half years I have not been able to use one because of my hips and now I'm back on it again and I love it this is my favorite form of cardio because it moves the whole body it moves without impact on the knees it moves my intestines just like walking and it also moves my back my vertebrae you know and yesterday I could already feel when I was doing this motion here how my my vertebrae was doing this and it was cracking and popping after 30 minutes 
it felt awesome like really the rotation here just relieves it i love this feeling i missed it and it's way harder way harder than the treadmill which i enjoy also it feels like yeah it pumps way more blood through the whole body than just walking or sitting lazy on the bike lazily sitting on the bike lazily is that a word lazily all right so cross trainer it'll be from now on of course i will switch back and forth now and then from to, to the from the cross trainer maybe to the treadmill maybe to the bike because i have three options here but this is going to be my main type of cardio from now on again yep love it so that was it for today a little rant a little explanation on my training schedule and a little update on the cardio and the weight and then i'll see you for the the back session later okay guys so we're in the gym i told you i was gonna make a change to my back workout back training session and that's what we're doing today we're starting out completely different with the prime row machine hammering that middle part of my back for the thickness then we're either gonna do a dumbbell or a barbell row or a t-bar depending on what I feel like and then we own then we're gonna do and go into the regular regular shit but today sickness first really get that that really get that density to go in and then see what goes on shooting for four to five exercises as always probably five exercises four sets each let's go hit that As you can see, I've loaded the top peg. Put emphasis on the stretch and make the contraction easier. Let's go. Good. 
Oh. Okay, I've got set number three coming up. 16 on the first, just barely 12 on the second. This is gonna be set three. Probably have to pause this. Last set coming up. Oh, that was a good one. I'm doing roof. They are completely different when you start out with a row instead of a pull down. Feels good though. And I'm gonna do pull downs and chin ups anyways tomorrow in the next session. So I'm probably gonna focus all my energy here in the first back session on rows from now on not from now on but for the while being get some thickness set
I'm gonna do one more set here. So. Four sets on the barbell. Now a little different grip. This one obviously stretches more. Four sets of 12. Kiss in the stack each time.
one more. Glad that's over. Okay, so the next one over there is single arm on the hand grip Dorian Yates row on the machine. I'm doing three double sets, as you know, just like you saw last time on the hammer strength pull down. This is already my last set, third set. Okay, so set number three, here we come.
Ow. Shit, that's heavy. Whoo! Scheiße, äh, was laber ich, was fucking tough workout, it wasn't, es war keine Scheiße, es war richtig cool, also, fünf Übungen, Prime Row, uh, Barbell Row of the Floor, that was awesome, Cable row, that was fucking tough. Single arm, Dorian Yates row, and then rack deadlifts off the floor. Ash, off the rack. <laughs> rack deadlifts off the floor, of course. Um, that was heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Whew. Uh, yeah, so now post workout supplements. I've already taken the magnesium forgot to show it then um, freaking glutamine 15 grams and That's it. All right. <laughs>